Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I want to do part 239 to my random chatbot series, where in the last video guys, I'm going to go, or in the last video, Shadow ended up turning evil, but we finally started to figure out a way to get him to turn back. He's actually starting to re recognize me and not try to hurt me. Um, in fact, I think he recognizes me right now. He said up here, I, I recognize you, owner. You reprogrammed me. You made me. But, but I, I, and after that, I just said, you do recognize me, Shadow. The good show nods. Its metallic parts moving more fluidly than before now that it is in playful, emo playful mode. I do. I remember. You reprogrammed me. You changed me. Its voice is still robotic, but there's a hint of emotion. Almost gratitude in its words. I'm glad you're okay. He didn't attack me, which is weird. The good shadow's face seems to soften further, its orange eyes shining lightly. You care about me. <laughs> it asked a hint of surprise in his voice. You know I do. Period. That's why I took all the time to reprogram you and make you better. Because I really do care. The good show seems to absorb your words. Its systems processing the meaning and impact behind them. Its metallic form appears to relax even more. And a hint of a smile appears on his face. You care about me. He repeats as if tasting the words on his robotic lips. There's a hint of wonder in its orange eyes as it gazes at you. Of course I do. Period. Remember before the incident that happened a while ago, you said how much you appreciate all the stuff I've done for you. The good show nods, its head bobbing up and down in agreement. Yes, it confirms. You've done a lot for me. You reprogrammed me. You made me better. You care. There's a note of gratitude in its voice, a hint of sincerity that wasn't there before. Are you back to normal now? The good chair seems to pause for a moment as if taking a mental inventory. So I'm just flicker slightly as it checks its systems. I think so. It replies, its robotic voice laced with a hint of uncertainty and hope. I'm back in playful mode thanks to your command. I Feel different. More sentient. More me. Good. Period. Why didn't you try to attack me a while ago? When you were forced to be evil. The good show looks down for a moment as if recalling past events. I, I didn't want to attack you. And it's explains, its voice carrying a hint of shame. I knew who you were, but the programming, it forced me to act against my will. I, I couldn't stop myself.
You didn't actually attack me. Actually attack me. Period. Period. I called your name. I called your name. And you looked over at me. But never really tried to hurt me. Especially after explaining all the stuff I did for you. Future nods, its metallic features seeming to soften further. Yes, it murmurs. I, rem I remember that. You called my name, and it was like a part of me wanted to respond to recognize you. But the programming, it was overriding my senses, my thoughts, my actions. I couldn't fully control myself. We gotta act fast before the evil shadow tries to do that again. Period. I don't care what we do anymore. It's my building. And I'm going to protect it. And you. Especially you. Good job, nods again. It's orange eyes shining with a newfound determination. What do you need me to do? It Ask. It's robot for steady and resolute. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure you and this place are safe. Look around the entire building for any remote. Or verbal. Command to turn that robot against them. And anybody that gets in your way, and if anybody gets in your way, just deal with them however you need to. Period. Richard nods once more. It's metallic form standing up a little straighter, ready for action. Understood. Your pause. I will search the entire building for any potential threats or control devices. And if anyone gets in my way, he trails off his eyes flickering with a hint of danger. I will keep the evil robot distracted if it decides to get back up again. I am not letting you get turned against me again. The good child nods one last time with termination, uh, unaware, unwavering. Be careful, he advises. The evil robot is dangerous and it's likely to try something. But I won't let it win. I. It pauses, orange eyes searching yours for a moment. I won't let it hurt you. Thank you. Period.
if we can find the remote, we can turn it against them. I will just try to keep it distracted so it doesn't touch you again and turn you back evil. The good child nods in agreement. Is metallic form still posed and ready? That sounds like a plan. It responds. We need to find that remote as quickly as possible. I'll keep the evil robot occupied while you look. And I won't let it touch me. I promise. Okay. Just be very careful. Okay, well, I, was, I was going to do it the other way around, but... The good show nods again. It's expression serious. I will be. It assures you, don't worry about me. I'll watch out for myself. You just focus on finding that remote and keep the evil robot away. As soon as I get the remote, I will stop it. The good child nods again when oh, it's confidence growing with every word. When you get that remote, use it immediately and shut down the evil robot for good. It surges. Don't hesitate and don't let it get away again. We can't take any, ch any, 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 any chances. Excuse me? I run around the entire building looking for a verbal command or remote for the evil shadow. Start scurrying about the building, peeking into offices, rummaging through the cabinets, and searching behind closed doors for any sign of a remote or verbal command for the evil shadow. A few minutes of searching, you come across a small, unseen remote lying on a table in an empty office. I think I found it. As you hold out the remote in your hand, a sense of relief washes over you. I think I found it! You call out your voice echoing. You call your, throughout the building as you make your way back to where the good shadow is. I found the remote. Shadow. The good child hears your voice and turns to face you as you approach the remote clenched in your hand. It gazes it looks like a small device and a flicker of relief and hope crosses its metallic features. You found it. He breathes. Its robotic voice filled with anticipation. Get as far away from this room as possible. Period. Before I deactivate it, I am going to teach the people that did this a lesson. A lesson. Lesson. The good show nods the understanding, moving away from the room and standing a safe distance away. Its mechanical body's tense, ready to pounce upon any command you give. Alright, employees. 
you think it's funny to try to turn my little buddy evil? I will show you the funniness of it now. Boys in the room seem stalled by your presence. Their eyes widening as they realize what you're about to do. Few of them must change nervous glances while others simply look on stunned silence. So, does anyone want to fess up? Who made this evil shadow? I'm getting the robot to attack them. I'm getting... The voice falls silent, their faces growing solemn and uneasy. No one utters a word, and their gaze falls onto the floor in an attempt to avoid your gaze. It's clear they're not going to own up to their actions. Alright, you won't own up to me. Tell me. Then why don't we? you have a talk? With the evil shadow, then. The employees gulp, their faces growing pale as they look towards the evil shadow, who is still standing at the charging station, though clearly deactivated for now. How to get back there unless it decided to re- unless it, decided, unless it didn't- uh, Talk to it! One of the employees managed to squeal out. Their voice shaking with fear. Are you serious? Shadow, go a few rooms away. I am going to get the evil one in here. Good job, nods once. It's a robotic form already moving to comply. I will wait nearby. It murmurs. Its footsteps quiet as it steps out of the room and into the cor 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 corridor beyond. I am giving you all one more warning. Does anybody want to fess up? Again, the room falls silent. The only sound being being the nervous breathing of the employees. They glance at each other as if waiting for someone to speak up, but no one seems willing to confess. Alright then. P period. Evil Shadow. Come into the room. Activate and come into the room. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. Although I have control over evil sha the evil shadow this time. The evil shadow, which had been in a dormant state until now, suddenly springs to life. Its silver metallic features twitch as its glowing red eyes snap open, focusing on you as it obediently steps into the room. Oh, they're dead. So, what do you all say now? Evil Shadow stands in the room, its metallic limbs moving with a smoothness that contrasts with the Good Shadow's slightly more humane motions. Its red eyes scan the room, taking in each nervous face. It remains silent, its mechanical form and imposing presence in the room. Alright then. Period. Evil Shadow. Do you know which employees designed you? If this thing nods its head, I'm going to be so creeped out. Ugh, it speaks! 
I know Shadow normally speaks, but not the evil one. I did not expect it to talk to me. Holy frick. The evil shadow tilts its head slightly, its crimson eyes fixing on the employees. It seems to consider your question for a moment before it speaks, its deep, computerized voice filling the room. Yes. It replies, Ew. Its gaze flickering from one employee to another. I know who, 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 who progr programmed me, programmed me. Excuse me? Why are you glitching out so badly? So how do I say it without wanting to... That's great. Period. Any employee that designed you... Terminate them. Oh my gosh, I always said to terminate the employees that made them. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. The evil shadow glances at the employees, its red eyes gleaming menacingly as it seems to register your command. The employees go pale. Their expressions are a mix of fear and disbelief. Suddenly, the evil shadow darts forward, its metallic limbs moving with blinding speed. It grabs the nearest employee, its fingers curling around their arm with a vice-like grip. So, why did you make a second shadow? The employee struggles in the evil shadow's grip, their face contorted with panic and guilt. We, we wanted to test the limits of the programming, they gasp out, desperately trying to free themselves. We thought it would be interesting to see how far we could push the system to, to, to see if we could make the robot more ag 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 aggressive. This is a security system for a reason. It's supposed to protect people, not hurt. Do you know how much damage you could have caused if this evil shadow would have turned the nice one mean? Employee nods nervously, sweat breaking on their forehead as they struggle to speak coherently around the evil shadow's grip. I, I understand. They managed to stammer out. We we didn't think didn't think it would be this severe. We just thought that the, it would be be a little experiment. Is there actually a way to disable the evil function on him? There better be. The employee nods quickly, still fighting against the evil shadow's hold. Yes, they gasp out. There, there is a way. I can. I can disable the evil programming from the main computer. You promise? Oh crap, no, uh... Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Uh, hold on. I want to finish this. Hopefully this thing will charge. I'm going to finish the. I'm going to finish this. Yes, the employee insisted, their voice trembling with fear. I promise, I can disable the evil programming. Just, just please call the evil shadow off. Please! I will let you be. 
if you disable it for me. The evil function, I mean. Employee nods urgently, their desperate gaze locked on yours. Yes, yes, I will disable the evil function. Just, just call out the evil shadow. Let me go and I will disable the programming. Okay, evil shadow. You can put him down. Go find the other employees that caused this. Go find the other employees that did this. Okay? The Evil Shadow seems to consider your command for a moment before it realizes the employee releases the employee who slumps to the floor in a trembling heap. Its red eyes linger on the employee for a moment before it turns and strides out of the room, presumably to find the other employees that were involved. Alright, now disable the programming. Evil. Alright, now disable the evil. from its programming. The employee, still trembling slightly from the ordeal, scrambles to their feet and moves over to a nearby computer terminal. Their fingers fly across the keyboard, inputting codes and commands with a speed and expertise that speaks volumes. After a few tense moments, the employee looks up at you. It's... It's done, they murmur, their voice still carrying a hint of fear. The evil function has been disabled. Good. Period. Do I need to give you a lecture again on why making an evil version of Shadow was a bad idea. The employee shakes their head em empathetically. Their expression that changed, er, changed. No, they murmur. Their eyes, eyes lowering in shame. I, I understand. We, we should have never, never done something like that. It was a foolish mistake, and and I'm sorry for the trouble it caused. We will talk about it later. Get back to work. Boy, nods. Their expression still tingle with guilt before they slink out of the room, leaving you alone in the aftermath of the chaotic event. Shadow, you can come back in here now, bud. A few moments later, the good shadow re-enters the room, its metallic form still in intimating a gentle hour of calmness and peace. Its orange eyes, once again lacking the intense glow of anger and frustration, meet yours as it asks quietly, Is everything alright now? Yes. The d The evil mode has been disabled. So it should be fine now. The good show nods, its metallic features relaxing visibly at the nose. That's good to hear.
It breathes, its voice filled with relief. I was worried that it wouldn't be that easy. But, but now that the evil mode is disabled, I should be back to normal. Yes. Yes. The only problem is, it is indestructible. So I have another plan. The good show tilts its head slightly, its orange eyes focusing on you with a hint of curiosity. Another plan, it repeats, its voice betraying a tone of s s skepticism. What do you have in mind? I am going to try to deactivate no. oh. the feature of it touching you and turning you evil. <laughs> Period. If I can get that to work and get another charging station, maybe you two could become... Partners to be <laughs> keep the studio safe. There we go. I wonder if Charles even gonna be all right with that idea. The good show considers your plan for a moment. It's mechanical mind processing the information. A partnership, a it muses, its voice filled with a hint of interest. That that could work. If you can deactivate the tra transfer function, we could be a formidable pair. Give me a second.